the ripple, the flop, the musser. What do these terms describe? They describe a method for being able to roll chords on the marimba in a legato smooth style. These were designed by PAS Hall of Fame member Claire Musser. Now, when I went to undergraduate school at East Carolina University, my teacher, Harold Jones, taught me how to play this Musser ripple flop role. All of those terms describe the same method. And his teacher at the University of Michigan, James Salmon, known as Jim Salmon, also another PAS Hall of Fame member, taught it to Harold in the late 1950s. And Jim Salmon had learned it from Musser himself when he performed in the mid-1930s with one of Musser's world marimba orchestras. So what I'm going to show you now is what Jim Salmon learned from Musser and that he taught it to Harold Jones, who taught it to me, and now I'm going to show you. The double lateral roll or the ripple roll. What's the difference? Here's the double lateral roll. Choosing my heights, just like on the floor exercises, I'm going to go one, two, four, three for this ripple roll. Now, as you can see, my wrist is turning just like with any type of lateral motion on the marimba. Okay, so now let's check out what's different about the musser or the flop or the ripple roll. The main reason the ripple roll has a nickname the flop roll is because the inner mallet flops uh, like this after the outside mallet falls. Now how do you do that? In a Musser Stevens grip, you push the mallet out a little bit. On the inside mallet, take it out just a little bit. Okay, then from here, you can tell that these notes Inside mallet falls afterwards, a little bit out of control, really, at this tempo for certain. Okay, doesn't sound much like a roll, does it? But if we speed it up a little bit, I'm going to add the left hand, okay? You can hear the triplet bass. And notice that my wrist is not turning. It's moving up and down. Now, we take the fourth mallet, and now we're going to flop. So it's going to sound like this. Listen how quietly you can play the ripple roll. Notice that it's still the one, two, four, three permutation, but delivered completely differently. Wrists are not turning. Effective. It's my experience that current teachers today in percussion don't really teach the ripple roll the way I learned it. I did describe this roll in my book, Marimba Technique Through Music. If you look at the section on the chorale playing, you're going to see a one paragraph that describes the ripple roll and how to produce it. Okay, so, but this is really my first time to be able to make a video to be able to discuss how to do it because I think it's an incredible tool. So. Now that you know what the ripple roll is or the musser or flop roll is, I want you to know that the roll that I use on the marimba most often is the traditional roll, right, left, right, left. For me, that is the roll that is the most effective musically. When do I use this musser roll or ripple roll? Sometimes at the ends of phrases, especially when it's very soft, gives a very warm, beautiful character to the roll and doesn't take away from any kind of textural change when you move from a traditional roll into this musser roll. So it's really in the very ending of the phrase that I like it the most, okay? Rarely use double lateral rolls in chorale sections 
anymore. I just don't like that texture. I don't find it as musically satisfying as playing the traditional role or the muscle role at softer levels. So let's take this ripple technique out of the roll. How does it apply to the marimba? It gives us an opportunity to redefine how we would sustain resonance on the instrument with just a couple of notes. I'm gonna play a short selection of Stealing a Moment here for you. Watch my right hand. You can see the flop technique from the ripple roll, but yet in this case, in a melodic format. ripple roll is not a double lateral roll. These two rolls have the same permutations of the mallets, but you deliver them very differently. Okay, the primary difference, of course, is what I just described, the rotation of the wrist versus the inner mallets flopping after the outside mallets. They both produce the same permutation. They both can produce somewhat kinds of rhythmic effects, but I think that the musser or the flopper Ripple roll is best used at really soft dynamics for really beautiful phrase endings. I've used it many times as I've just described. I think you should check it out, experiment. Unfortunately, this type of technique is not very applicable to any kind of crossed stick grip on the marimba. So if you're using the Musser slash Stevens grip, then you should try this. Enjoy, take care.